What is up, everybody? It's your boy, J Money. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Done a little bit of changing around of a couple things. I got a new green screen. I know y'all can't see it, which is the point. But uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Picked it up on Facebook Marketplace for a hell of a price. Couldn't beat it. And I uh, got to switch up a couple things. Kind of switched up my camera a little bit. Not too much, but we'll see if I like it. But how's everybody doing tonight? Appreciate you tuning in. We're going to be doing some hauling tonight. I got a International Lone Star, as this one's called. This is a mod that I just picked up uh, earlier today. I drove it around a little bit. It's a little bit quieter than I wanted. Um, tried, tried doing a little bit of tweaking. Uh, messing around with a couple engine sound mods. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to get too far into it tonight. I haven't had a lot of time. Been busy for the past two days. Uh, I did get to mess around with the Mexico uh, map mod and adjusted some settings a little bit, and it seems to be running a lot smoother. So tonight, let's keep our fingers crossed that uh, we got a nice stream and some nice footage. So far, I did a couple hauls, and everything's good to go on my end. So, again, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Well, we're going to start off with uh, doing a crane here. Nothing, you know, special or spectacular, but okay. I want to hit this road. Because this is a pretty twisty turning road here that we're about to hit. So as you can see right there, it's a nice little start off right here. Then we'll get we'll get into the crazy one here next. Have fun tonight. Hey Emily, appreciate you tuning in. We're gonna have some fun tonight. Hopefully everything goes good and smooth. Hopefully my audio sounds good as well. Let me know about that as well. I know the other day I was having some choppiness issues. I kind of adjusted a couple things. I didn't see anything that was absolutely wrong. It looked like it was just kind of a hiccup in the system. Keep left and then turn so. left. Hopefully it sounds good. Turn left. Okay. Appreciate it. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get into uh, the Mexican roads here. They're pretty interesting. They're pretty twisty and turny, so I'm gonna have to uh, keep it around 12th gear, 13th gear. Any faster than that, I'm gonna have some issues. So, let's see what's up. It's a lot better scenery to look at, you know, a little bit more entertaining, so. Hey, what's going on, Mick? Appreciate the like, buddy. How are you doing tonight? I did add my 4 inch extension to my shifter, so got it up there a little bit higher. I'm still looking at a couple different shifter options. I'm going to keep the same shift knob, of course, I just bought it. But I'm looking at a taller Get shifter ready. extension. But if I go that route, I'm thinking about getting a stand for the wheel and whatnot, so. Yeah, what's going on, Mick? How you been, man? Turn left. Good, good, good. Been doing a little bit of tweaking around with some stuff. Messed around with the Mexico mod a little bit. Uh, kind of turned down my settings a little bit for the graphics. So it wasn't rendering so much. Hey, Courtney, how's it going? Appreciate you stopping by. How you doing today? I uh, kind of adjusted the settings a little bit so it runs a little bit smoother. So everything seems to be running good now. I like it. Appreciate the light, Courtney. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I do got to remember tonight to keep it around like 13th, 14th gear when I start doing around these some of these turns. It gets a little bit crazy. So far it's been running good though. This is a brand new truck that I'm running to. This is a... Well, let's go on this side. International Lone Star is this one's called. Something I picked up. It's a little bit quieter than I want. But, uh, you know, I like the, uh, the paint scheme. Kind of like a robotic, futuristic look. Kind of cool. Zoom in a little bit. Hopefully I don't kill us all. But yeah, kind of like predator, alien type, you know. Thought it was pretty cool. But the chrome accents, we'll run it tonight. It does have pretty decent power. I think it's got about 600, 625 horsepower Cummins. And uh, we're going to roll it out. Let's see what's up. Hey, Emily, appreciate the like. Thank you very much. How's my audio sound tonight? A lot better? Not, not as choppy? I didn't actually find out what the issue was. I think it was just some hiccup in the system. 
all my settings I have not adjusted. There's a couple things that uh, updated, so I don't know if that had something to do with it. Maybe it had a hiccup. But I've done some testing and everything seemed okay. Let me know if it's not. But looking at doing some hauling. Sounds good. Awesome. I'm glad. I hate it when you have little issues like that. Like, you adjust settings and you adjust your, your cameras. And I just got a new green screen. So I went through a three-hour process of trying to get a nice, uh, nice view. Still not exactly where I want, but... Did you see the picture I sent you? Oh, which picture was that, Mick? I don't remember right off the top of my head. The past two days have been crazy. This morning I spent all uh, all day at the dentist with my son. Needed to get some dental work done and with COVID and everything, it took a lot longer than expected. Can't remember if I've seen a picture. I don't even know where my phone's at. It ain't on me, I'll tell you that much. don't remember if I seen I don't think I seen the picture because I would have came right off the top of my head hey what's going on there buddy oh yes 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 I did it was kind of a smaller picture but yes I did see that that's a hell of a rig man oh and you know what actually I didn't get to do it tonight I actually picked up two new mods that I found online they're both paid mods um, they look super awesome one of them is uh, a quad uh, livestock trailer and I found it online. I can link some uh, links in the description after the stream. But I haven't got to play it. I haven't even got to install it. I actually forgot about it. I have them sitting in my email right now. There's also another one. Can't remember right off the top of my head. It was like a heavy cargo mod. It had a steerable rear wheel set. And I mean, dude, it had some huge loads, huge cargo to haul, so I'm pretty excited about that. They had like these big old tubes that would look really awesome. So, stay tuned for that. They were paid mods, so they were 20 bucks each. Yeah, I'll send you the links, Mick. I want to test them out and make sure before I start spreading the good word, you know, and letting everybody know how awesome they are. Supposedly they're up to date, you know, with 1.4 and everything, or I'll be pissed, but... <laughs> You know, that, that that's what you get with the paid mods, you know, hopefully, hopefully everything's good. But they look pretty cool. Like, I was having issues trying to find, like, quad or, you know, four or five, six trailers. It seems like I can find triples, and of course you already have the triple drive vans that you can get. But I want, like, four or six trailers, man. And I'm having a hard time locating some mods. So hopefully this is the, uh... The cure for a minute. Hopefully this will get me by. How's everybody doing tonight? Looks like we got a couple more viewers in. If you haven't already, hit the follow button and the like button. Be much appreciated. Helps out the stream a tremendous amount. But yeah, I'm digging this Mexico mo uh, map mod. Now that I kind of adjusted the graphics a little bit, it seems like it's running a lot smoother. It's not as glitchy. Hey, John, appreciate the like. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You know, nice twisty, turny roads. You know, a little bit a little bit en more entertaining, I guess. Something different. Instead of just long straightaways. I'll send you more pics later. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. You know, those trailers would just be so cool to be able to haul, you know. The only thing is, is like the livestock one, I got it. Yeah, it's a four trailer. But, I mean, it's like a livestock trailer. So, I mean, you might be able to see the animals inside of the trailer a little bit. But, for the most part, it's not like you're seeing, like, the cargo outside, like, these low boys and stuff. So, I'd like to find, like, a quad low boy trailer. You know what I'm saying? Something that's, like, ridiculous, you know. But, hey, you know, I'll take what I can get. We'll see what's up with this. Like I said, hopefully this will scratch my back for a while and keep me going. I still would like to find, find like a NASA or like a SpaceX, uh, you know, kit for cargo and trailers and whatnot. I think that would be like awesome. Hauling some like missiles or like a, 
I don't know, even like part of a rocket or something. I think that'd be awesome. Space shuttle, some shit. This one, this trailer that I have right here, it does have a space rover that you can uh, that you can drive. Every once in a while I come across it, but it's not too popular. It's kind of like a hit and miss. Can't depend on it. Make sure you don't hit those bends and turns too much and flip or run someone over. Yeah, no kidding, right? I actually adjusted the uh, the pedestrians off um, in the graphics settings to just kind of take that extra notch off, maybe to help with the smoothness of the uh, the graphics. I was running it at max settings, and uh, with streaming and everything on one PC, I don't know if I was having issues with that and it being glitchy with the Mexico mod, but so far I think that was my issue. I just dumbed everything down a little bit, and it seems to be running pretty smooth. If you go on to load and unload the cattle in them. Yeah, right? You know, I don't know if it unloads and loads or what. You know, I haven't got to play around with it. Check it out. I bought it. I got the email link and everything, and my sister Emily ended up coming over earlier. So, um, you know, I actually completely forgot about it until I just now started thinking about it. That's all right, though. I was messing around with the Mexico mod, and I, I adjusted my graphics settings, so I'm pretty happy about that. I did do this one road earlier. It was very twisty and turny, so I might try that next, see if I can get on that road again. 200 miles, man. It, it, it's, it's a long road. <laughs> a lot of turns. But yeah, hopefully that uh, trailer mod will be, you know, what I'm looking for. What the hell is going on? Oh, okay. I was about to say, you guys are nuts. Okay. Oh, yeah. One day closer to the weekend, baby. But yeah, I ended up picking up this green screen for a good price on Facebook Marketplace. 50 bucks. Can't beat it. Retractable. Works well. Not all beat up. Eventually, once I get this room together, I'm going to paint a whole wall of green screen. I don't have, I have to worry about it again. I better slow the hell down. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, chat. Coming in theory like 50 miles an hour. Shit. That wouldn't end up very good. Oh, sorry, Tesla. My bad. But yeah, I'm glad I threw the 4-inch extension back on here. I feel like that was a good, uh, good, good idea. I've been watching a couple of the other streamers uh, lately, and one of the guys has thicker chrome rod, a long ass shift knob. Looks super awesome. I haven't been able to come across it yet. I'm sure that's a pretty penny though. I did a 3,200 milliliter job last night, three hour driving. Okay. 3,200 miles. Three hours of driving. Holy crap. I think the longest one I did was... 2,300 miles or something like that. And it it took a while. And on, on the unfortunate part is most of it was uphill as well. So I was only able to do... It was a heavy cargo. Like a stock trailer, I think I was only able to do like 65, you know, unless I was going downhill. So going uphill, it sucked. Make it, bro. Hell yeah. How's everybody doing? If you're just joining us, if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the follow button. Be much appreciated. Helps out the stream a tremendous amount. But yeah, so far I'm digging this map mod, man. Been trying to hang out down in Mexico here. A little bit different scenery, a little bit more turns. Some of the roads are nuts. I still want to find like one of those dangerous uh, maps, you know, those really modded up maps. Unrealistic maps, I should say. They look pretty fun. But I've been dabbling around with more mods. Right now I'm just trying to fine tune what I have. rolling out at 70 miles an hour. I think that's alright. 
This one's not as twisty turny, so we'll start off with this. I got one of those maps. Yeah, where'd you uh, send me a link if you can, Mick? I'd like to have like one of those dangerous uh, maps. I found one, and it's got six files, and I keep trying to rearrange the files to make it work, but for some reason, it won't pull up any garages. So you can't get a vehicle. You can't get your trailers or anything. None of them po pop up on the map. So I don't know if it's just not layered right or what. I started off with a whole fresh profile and I only have those on there. So I know that it, that's, you know, the only thing I'm messing around with. So it's a work in progress. Just haven't had time. So far, this seems to be running pretty good. Like I said, after I dumbed down the graphics a little bit, um, it seems to be running a lot smoother. I think it was just at that teeter-totter of like where with streaming and everything my frames were dropping on it a little bit but it I, i'm really happy with where it's at right now and then as far as uh what emily said so far my audio seems to be doing a lot better it's not all glitchy for like last night i don't know what the hell just happened there don't take your eyes off the prize here jay distracted driving at its best But yeah, one of those dangerous uh, road maps, I think that'd just be super awesome. Super entertaining, you know? You have to be really on your game. And then on top of it, add like one of the quad trailers on there, like one of the quad uh, livestock. <laughs> that will be entertaining. Let's just say I'll probably uh, be resetting the truck and rig a couple times. That's all right though, because I got my numpad now, so I can actually do that. Very helpful. Before I was not able to do that, so I'd have to recover my vehicles. But yeah, there's so many mods out there, it's crazy. I keep trying to look at them, trying to come up with ideas of, you know, th certain things that I want or come across. I keep finding a truck here and there. Like, this one's an international Lone Star. This one's pretty decent. Like I said, I I was digging the paint. I like how it looked kind of futuristic, kind of like an alien or predator. Ooh, don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Yeah. But, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. Brim's added a nice little touch to it. Like I said, she's quiet, but that's okay. We're all right with that. It pulls good, so that's all that matters. Interior, nothing special. Oop carbon fiber steering wheel I threw on it eh, everything's a little bit dark I do like the bed being blue and the chair kind of having a blue accent I think that's pretty nice but pretty basic there wasn't too many options as far as uh, being able to adjust stuff in the interior on this one Get ready to turn left. I'm doing my second stream last night out today do 63k i've made doing by the book hell yeah man and you're playing and vanilla then, right mick and then you said no mods or should i say like no uh no money mods keep left and then turn left Ooh, man she's a wide one she likes to take those corners wide i love this cargo trailer like you get some really good cargo like i said you get the nasa like the the space rover and you get a predator missile and stuff like that but this trailer is very teeter tottery top heavy yeah see mick yeah 63k that's that's a nice chunk of change that takes a while like you said that one haul took you three hours i can understand when i was playing vanilla when i first started i was like dude this is for the birds man it's gonna take me forever to get money Shapow. We might hit another gear, but I don't know. 15 might be okay. Yeah, we'll grab another gear. All right, this isn't too twisty turny yet. Wait until the next road. I'm going to try to really get us on an effed up road. It's kind of fun. Definitely got to be on your game. But yeah, back to that one map mod. I got, It's got six parts to it. So hopefully I get it layered right to where it'll actually work for me. And if so, I'm going to be super happy because it's like a uh, Honduras 
death road map mod or something like that like it sounded and looked pretty cool there are some serious roads like wooden bridges that look like all decrepit and stuff so i'm down for it hopefully it works Get hey it looks like we got a couple more that. viewers in here if you haven't already hit the like button hit the follow button it'd be much appreciated helps out the stream a tremendous amount Turn left. and as always you know i appreciate all the love you guys appreciate it we've been doing really good lately been getting a lot of views just trying to get those uh the likes and the follows up now hey matt appreciate the follow thank you very much buddy how are you doing today doing a little bit of hauling here got our mexico uh map mod up here as you can see some of these roads are pretty twisty turny and super super cool so looking at hitting them hey matt appreciate the like as well thank you very much like I said, we've been we've been getting a lot of views lately. Getting those likes and those follows up, man. Much appreciated. Thanks for showing the love. Kind of been messing around with a couple mods, like I said. Uh, what's up? Yeah, I've been doing good, man. Been a long couple days. Looking forward to the weekend. Just been doing a couple things, adding a couple mods. Like I was saying a little bit ago, I have a couple new trailer mods that I picked up, paid mods. Didn't get them installed tonight, didn't get to play around with them. Hopefully it's pretty fairly simple and just throw them in and go, but... Tonight, rocking out, starting out with a crane. Got an international Lone Star truck. It's kind of got like a Predator alien kind of paint scheme to it, looks pretty cool. Slow it down a notch here, Jay. No rollage tonight. No rollage. Please, no rollage. But yeah, I tried to get a little bit more entertaining uh, map. So this Mexican one has a little bit of uh, twisty turning roads. So something different. I've been trying to get this game, but no luck so far. You know, it, it's a really super fun game. I actually only got... I, mean, I have a couple hundred hours in now, but I only had this game for a couple months. Um, I played a lot of Farm Simulator before... I was playing SnowRunner, Forza, Need for Speed, Heat, uh, a plethora of other games, but I uh, kind of stumbled upon this. And at first I didn't really think I was gonna like it, but man, I will tell you what, I am so super impressed with this game. They did amazing with it, all the mods that you can get, because it is a PC only game, of course. So unfortunately console players, you know, can't get it. As far as I know, not yet. I haven't heard about them coming out with it for console. But it's just a super amazing game. It did awesome. I love it. I can't get away from it. I keep wanting to stream SnowRunner and go back to SnowRunner for a minute and dabble around with it, and I can't even get can't even get off it. Two different streams, one by the book and one doing mod reviews. You know what? That's a really good one, Mick. Absolutely doing some mod reviews i think that's one thing that i haven't really come across is actually like reviews on the mods i mean it, if you get in you can get into depth if somebody's actually put in the description about them but that's a real big hit and miss between these uh websites i'll get on a mod that i see on six websites and it has four reviews but it has 800 downloads oh come on guys you know, I mean, like I said, I have a couple profiles now so I can kind of adjust stuff and play with it and see if I like it, see if it works, but... Hey, Matthew, appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. How are you doing today? Looks like we got some more viewers in chat here. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Hit the follow button. Helps out the chat and the stream. Tremendous. Been doing good. Been a nice increase. Had our most views the other night of 1,100. That's a new all-time high for me. Appreciate all the love and the support. I'm gonna start adding a couple more days to my stream schedule. I just haven't ironed it out yet and see exactly what I wanna do. Hey, man, appreciate the like as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, International Lone Star is this truck tonight. What really got me was the paint. The paint scheme seemed like it was pretty cool. Like I said, kind of like a Predator alien reminded me of. I thought the chrome kind of threw it off. Nice little accent. 
And then, of course, the 30-inch rim mod. My favorite. Goes on every one of my rigs and trailers. Where did you get the steering wheel and shifter? Uh, steering wheel is a G29. I got it off uh, Amazon for around 300 bucks with the shifter. Uh, this shift knob is a SKRS shift knob that I picked up off eBay. And I actually made a video that's attached on YouTube and Facebook that I show on how to install the shifter and it has the links attached to where and the price I got it. There is one on Amazon, but it is more expensive and it is a cheaper quality shifter. And I have seen reviews and seen videos on people that have had it and I wasn't impressed. So this specific one seemed like it was better quality and I'm very impressed with it. It was worth the price. I think I paid 125 myself. Somebody on chat the other said other day said it was 117. So I'm not sure if that's the case still. But uh yeah. Yes, and how to add the mod. Mick, you are onto something there, brother. Let me tell you. You have a video that shows people how to make those mods, like put them to get, uh, together and layer them. I know that there's a couple out there, but uh, I watched one and it was it was rather long. Rather long. Maybe if you could kind of keep it more sweet and to the point. Because he also had a lot of mods on his. Maybe if you started off and showed people how to start off and start layering them from day one, and not just like I did and threw 80 mods onto there and then tried to start organizing. That's a pain in the ass. You can get them off eBay. Exactly, Mick. Yep, absolutely. You can get them off eBay. Amazon. You can buy them used. You can buy them new. I ended up picking up a G27 for a pretty good price not too long ago. And I was pretty satisfied with it. But I wanted it to be compatible with my PS4 if I ever played on PS4. And uh, the G27 was not. It was kind of out to date. It was for the PS3 version. So I picked this up for about 300 bucks on uh, Amazon. You know, three days shipping. I was pretty impressed. Pretty happy with it. I love it. It's not the best. I've heard that the 920 and like the 923 is a better steering wheel. But I can't say that. I haven't put my hands on one and got to use one. So, And that was like an additional $150. So this price tag seemed a lot better for me. Looks like we got some more viewers. Appreciate you stopping by. Hope you like the stream. If you can, hit the like button. Hit the follow button. Much appreciated. Helps out the stream a tremendous amount. Absolutely. And then go through, Mick, and like when you add it, and then go through and show it. And then, you know, along the way, you're going to have a hiccup here and there, and then people can actually see the hiccup and then know how to make an adjustment or know how to step back a notch instead of just proceeding throwing a bunch of stuff at it and hoping for the best. I got very lucky because I threw, ooh, probably 50 mods right off rip and they all coincided together. They all work good. So I've been doing some finessing and tweaking and organizing, but I got super lucky. I don't think everybody gets that lucky. Yep. Yeah, you know, like this road is nice and twisty and turny and stuff. Oh, right there, it looked like we had a little bit of drop frameage. For the most part, it seemed like it was doing better just by adjusting the graphic settings. Kind of turning down like the anti-aliasing and stuff like that just a little bit. Just so it's not stressing my GPU too much. I do have a 2080 Super. You know, I don't have a 3080 or nothing like that. Soon, once I get under control of their stock and they're not getting raped by scalpers i'll end up buying one but for right now my 2080 is doing a pretty solid job so i don't mind dumbing it down a little bit the only thing i dumbed down was like, like i said the anti-alias in a little bit and mirror detail shadowing detail one notch so looks good to me hope y'all like it I try to keep them frames up. That's a big part of me. Like, I, I, I like the frames. That's why this camera right here on the right-hand side of my stream, I really want to up, update it, upgrade it. That'll be my next, uh, my next purchase. I've actually been looking at uh, new cameras. I'm either thinking between the Canon M200 or the Sony A5100. I like the Sony A5100 
uh, the quality of it. it. Seemed like the cannon had uh, like a pinkish tint to it from what I'm seeing online, and I might be able to adjust that out with the settings, but I don't want to have to worry about that. Start adding the mod, and then I'll play the game to show it working. Yeah, there you go. And then kind of show them what it looks like when you don't layer it right. They think that it's on there, but it's not. They think that they have the bright light mod, but it's not layered right, so it's not stacked. It's a good idea, man. I'll watch it, brother. I still got a lot to learn. You know, this is a very, very in-depth game when you get into it, you know? Like I said, I got super lucky the way I did it. I just started throwing mods in. But shoot, with just Steam Workshop, there's like 6,000 mods, and then when you start dabbling on like Facebook and Google and start finding other mods, whew, sky's the limit. That's why I'm super stoked about those uh, those quad trailers. I hope that it's just super simple, they work, throw them in and go. But some of the mods that I end up coming across for like the trailers and the cargos, don't seem like they have a lot of jobs like you'll get to certain cities and the radius around you you won't have any jobs yeah you have showed me a lot Mick I, I promise you brother I, you have showed me a lot and I appreciate it because uh, it's it's hard when you try to find good information online you guys sat there and scrolled and scrolled and scrolled I spent so many hours just going through websites and uh, now I'm starting to get to several Facebook pages and uh, be able to actually... Hey, Scott, appreciate the like. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're having a good day. You know, so like when you start going to these websites and stuff, they don't tell you stuff. They don't even tell if it's compatible with the newest version. It'll say, oh, it's 1.38. And you're like, okay, well, is that the, the game version or is that your mod number version? Like... There's just no info. And it kind of sucks. I can't expect it to be perfect, you know what I'm saying? People can only do so good. But... That's why, you know, showing a video like you, you know, going through and adding one one at a time so people can see how you lay around properly. Be a lot beneficial. Info in that video. Grab my coffee. But yeah, I hope everybody's day is doing good. Mine's coming towards an end. It's getting late at night here in good old Michigan. Been doing a little bit of tweaking with some mods. I'm glad that I got this ironed out pretty good as far as the map mod. Next one, I'm going to try to do some twisty turny roads here. This one wasn't too bad, but they get pretty crazy. I was going to haul like a triple trailer tonight but i was like uh let me get a little bit used to these roads yeah. 12 30 yeah 12 30 p.m your time got a 14 hour difference Ooh, what oh what just happened i thought we were gonna make that they said hell no you dumbass oh where the hell is he even coming from Slow as snail piss. There you are. That eh, doesn't look like a long one. That was funny though. I thought we were gonna make it. We did not make that chat. <laughs> By all means, we were not going through there. That's all right. Coffee break. Cheers, y'all. There we go. Perfect timing. See? It all works out in the end. We're gonna get the jump on this Heinz ketchup guy, though. Get the hell out of my way. Yeah, buddy. 25 more miles. Hopefully there's a job at the other end of this road. If not, we can always travel. I put a couple trailers and stuff back at that uh, place that I started off at tonight, just in case shit got a little bit crazy. Because I still haven't got to do all the testing that I'd like to do with down here. 
It is a little hit and miss with cargo. Sometimes you'll have a trailer and you won't come across any jobs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So how's the aquaponics doing, Mick? Said you had 70 fish. How's everything going, man? Going smooth? Going good? Look at that asshole passing me. Get the hell out of here in your Prius. Shit. He's got shit to do. Mexico's my favorite map. Hell yeah, Scott. You know, I've just only been dabbling around with it for a couple days now, and I got it working a little bit smoother. I think that I had my rendering on my graphics and stuff like that, my anti-aliasing. I had everything maxed out, so... I think it was stressing my GPU just over that teetering edge to where it would drop frames when I would start getting into the twisty turnies. So I kind of dumbed everything down a little bit and it seems to be running, except for right there, every once in a while I'll get a hiccup. So I might tweak it a little bit more, but it seems to be running all right. Yeah, good fish are getting bigger. Yeah, man, I've been looking up more into that. That's really cool. Really cool. That's a good concept, you know? economically efficient especially if you know you uh are limited on water supplies or nutrition for your plants i mean that's a really good that's a good concept get ready to turn left it was very interesting when i was watching the videos turn let's see left. here where are we at where are we at left. left sounds good it's always the prius right it's either the Prius or if you're in Michigan in the wintertime, it's the asshole in the four-wheel drive lifted up truck. Oh, I took that real shitty. Hold on, y'all. Get the hell out of here. Oh, wrong way. Oh, shit. Stay out the stop sign. I've been doing it for over 15 years. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's a lot of work. Patience. That's the thing. Patience. Patience, Miago. Patience. I don't got patience like that. I give it to you, Mick. I guess maybe one day I might. Not today. <laughs> it's not looking good. All right, let's see here. Ooh, ooh. We got a longer truck, and I sometimes have issues with backing up these longer trucks like this. Let's let's give her hell. Let's see what we got. Let her eat, right? Let her rip, tater chip. I have to swing old girl around though. Ooh, shit. Maybe I should have pulled. No, I should be able to swing. Uh, I don't know. She's a big one. Swing her super wide. Slow it down a notch. Oh, I don't think. No, we weren't going to get that. There we go. This is going to be entertaining, I can already tell. Pack it like a forklift. <laughs> right? I got, I got practice with forklift. Worked for Harley for a while, and I had to drive those every once in a while. Actually, more often than none, because nobody ever wanted to go down to the warehouse. I'm like, why? I don't want to unload the Harley truck. Are you kidding me? I'm going to take my sweet ass time. Shit, I hope he's got 20, 20 bikes today. Let's do it. Other than in those warehouses when you don't have AC, it does get a little bit muggy and shitty, but that's okay. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. We might be able to just do a slight adjustment here and might be able to straighten her. Hey, easy on the paint, goddammit. Easy. Oh, don't stall it, don't stall it. Come on, big girl. Whoa, mama. Ta da Look at that. Holla at your boy. <laughs> I've done it once or twice now, see? All right, do we actually have a job close to us? Holy crap, no way. Now let's see. get a twisty, turny-ass road. I want something wicked. Oh, I don't want something wickedly long.
Hmm. I'm almost thinking, oh, well, let's do this. Because there's another wicked road down here and I want to take it. So we're going to start back off at Brawl or wherever the hell this is. We'll jump real quick. 8 out of 10. Hey, appreciate it, Mick. That's not too bad. I'll take it. That one wasn't too bad. Went a lot smoother than I thought. But yeah, we'll do a little fast traveling here to, uh, to this place because... First off, we need to grab our trailer. I've never seen the cargo not on a trailer. <laughs> couple times. I got a couple different mods on here as far as like different cargos. There we go. So it's hard to tell which one is which actually. Back to that layering of mods, right Mick? We snuck that in. We got this. We got this. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a mod. This trailer and cargo. It's like one of my favorites so far because it does have like a NASA space rover and like a Predator drone. It does have like Russian tank and another tank and stuff. So I mean, it is a pretty cool one. The only thing is, is it's very top heavy. This seems a lot more top heavy than any other trailer that I've driven so far. So it's something to do with the mod. Even if the trailer is empty, it's very tipsy turning. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. And yes, it needs to be right for it to work. Yep, exactly. That's why I need to kind of start from scratch and just start adding. But I have so many trucks and everything right now. I almost need to start a whole new profile. Honestly, I might end up doing it. Not too big of a deal, right? Are you not going to take me on that road now? Are you serious? They're not going to take me on that road. Time to get the job done. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, having some technical difficulties here. No job. Oh, okay, because we're still... Okay. That's fine. No. There we go. Let's see what kind of jobs we got. Great. Mm -mm. I don't want a super long one. Come on, baby. Give me something good. Give me something good. There's a road down to the left. And it's not giving it to me. I don't want to go north. There we go. We're getting there. I think that might be it. Ooh, right there, right there. That's what, see that, see that? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, but that's the, just. Ready to roll. That's the wrecker. You need the wrecker for that one. We don't have the wrecker tonight. Sorry about that, chat. Like I said, some of these locations, they just don't come up with any of the jobs. I got one profile and the one I got, I call the maps, it's working. Yeah, I keep, I got three uh, different profiles and this is my main one. And I still need to do some tweaking as far as, like I said, that one dangerous roadmap that I have. Hopefully I can get that ironed out. If not, I'm gonna check the link out to that one map that you were telling me about. This one's kind of cluttered with like a lot of uh, like truck mods and stuff like that. I have an insane amount. So it's very cluttered. I kind of just need to push it all over. But before that, I need to unsubscribe and delete all the stuff that I don't use so I don't start adding stuff that 
either doesn't work or I don't want. That's why, like I said, it might be worth my while just to make a new profile at this point. I mean, I do got 60 million, but I mean, that's not a big deal. It comes pretty quickly, especially I have a mod. I wouldn't do vanilla. Keep left. Maybe an Euro Truck Simulator, but I played that for a minute the other day. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Looks like we got some more viewers. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the follow button. Helps out the stream a tremendous amount. Hope you're liking the stream. Doing a little bit of driving here. We're going to go ahead and get it light, though. I don't like driving at night. Watch your eyes, y'all. It gets bright. Three, two, one. Chapow. Hauling out, baby. Let's go get this rig. Let's go get this trailer. Do a little bit of curvy action. Get ready. But like you said, Mick, if you start making like a uh, streaming videos and stuff, laying out the map mods and laying everything out, I think that would be very entertaining, you know? Turn left. People will see how to build it, understand, because I still don't understand. Like I said, I got a couple hundred hours so far into it, and I'm still at the top of the, you know, top of the iceberg, man. I still got so much to learn. Right now, I just see what's sticking out of the water. I don't see what's underneath the other 70%. This is where it is. It sure does, Slenda. Let's see what we got. Give me that one with the twisty, turny ass road. He. Let's do. Yeah. Give me the messed up road. That's what we're here for, right? Some entertaining shit. Hey, Drew, appreciate the like. Thank you very much. Danny as well, appreciate the like. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hope you all enjoying the stream. Uh-oh, I think I'm stuck here. Come on, baby, there we go. How y'all doing today? So far, so good. Doing a little bit of hauling here. Talking about all the mods. Good old mods. Not a very interesting trailer, but hey, you know what? The road that we're about to drive on, I think it's gonna be interesting, so. Oh, we shall see. Hey, Danny, appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. Helps us out tremendously. We appreciate the love. Welcome to the J Fam. Turn left. Yeah, I'm so. Oh, shit. Whoa. I usually watch Warzone streamers, but I'm liking this. I'm going to give you a follow, bro. Hey, appreciate it, Drew. I was streaming uh, Call of Duty for a little bit, and the uh, game is just so stressful. And after working all day, and I got three kids and everything else in life, it's like, you know what? I like something a little bit more relaxed. So I start started streaming this, kind of went over to uh, American Truck Simulator, and haven't turned back. I love it. I do enjoy watching uh, Warzone streamers. I watch, like, Z Laner. Uh, Huskers, you know, like the big old famous ones. Dr. Disrespect, I don't watch too much. He's very good, but I just, I don't watch him too much. He's a little bit raunchy for me. He's a little bit hype and hyperactive, you know. Actually, I haven't even played Call of Duty in a minute. I got my wife into it, and then I stopped playing. It's pretty funny. Get ready. She never played first-person shooter games before, and then I got her into Black Ops 4. And then when Warzone came out, now she plays Plunder, and she loves it. She does pretty good. She's got, she gets over a million by herself. I mean, she gets... I've seen her get 10 or 12 kills. She's pretty good. Proud of her. I told her she needs to start streaming. She laughed, and she's like, oh, I, I don't know. I'm like, seriously. Do it. She's got to do it, right? She plays PlayStation 4, so she'd still be able to stream. She just wouldn't be able to do all the adjustments and audio and graphics and all that shit. Yeah, I appreciate the follow, Drew. Thank you very much. 
Pulp War Zone's treating you good. I haven't actually got to play the new map since it came out. 1984 map or whatever. Looks cool. Looks like some stuff's been changed a little bit. Looks like for the most part it's about the same. So, that's cool. They don't get rid of it for the people that do like the map, but they change it enough to kind of keep it a little bit fresh, you know? I respect that. I don't like it when they completely remove something from a game. Some people like certain things. I say, bro, I think it takes guts and nerves to stream. I'd be scared I wouldn't have any followers and viewers, bro. Hey, you know what? I, I, I respect that, Drew. You know, it took me a long time to uh, start doing it. Uh, I've always been an avid video game uh, fanatic, man. I love playing video games. And it's always been my stress reliever and, uh, you know, a good way to come together with my friends and just, you know, entertainment in general. And back in the day with, uh, you know, original Xbox with Halo, Red versus Blue. I don't know if anybody, be, any of you have ever heard about those guys. I'm sure some of you have. But they started putting stuff together with like an Elgato back in the day, like when it was red, white, and yellow cables coming out of your TV. And I used to do that. And we used to have to do like the voiceovers separately and put it all together and compile it on a computer. It took forever. And it looked super shitty. And it wasn't all choreographed and nothing. You just, you'd move your character kind of up and down and stuff to make it look like they were talking. And nowadays to have all this technology, all the streaming equipment, you know, people can watch you across the world. I get viewers from India and everything. And I don't get a lot. The other day we hit 1,100 viewers uh, that uh, viewed the chat or the stream. So that was my number one number so far. 1,100 is my top. It took me a long time to get here, though. You know, I've been streaming on and off for almost two years now. But it was very hit and miss at first. I would stream and then a couple months would go by and I wouldn't. So now that I've actually dedicated time i got a schedule together i've been sticking 100 percent to the schedule it's been giving me that ambition that that drive to keep it going and now that i'm seeing viewers that come in and you know we get to chat with people and have good times and relax and stuff it's super awesome you know like my my advice is you know if it's if it's rough at first and it's a little bit stressful you know, maybe switch up the game a little bit, because I was having a hell of a time doing Warzone. I was streaming only Warzone, and I felt like I was too focused on the stream, and I just sucked at the game. And then I would just start doing horrible, and then it was bad footage at that point. When I started kicking back onto this game and just being able to relax, you know, BS with some people, make some new trucks, you know, grab some different cargoes and drive, I fell right into it. So I think just finding that game. I also like SnowRunner and Need for Speed Heat and stuff like that. Oops. Columbia and Death Road map. Oh, there we go. But you know, I didn't have any followers or viewers for the longest time. I just now started getting them, Drew. Just now. We just hit over 100 followers uh, just about a week or two ago. About two weeks ago now. And I appreciate all the love and support. You know, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Like I said, it keeps that drive going. It keeps that ambition going. I wish I had been doing this a lot longer. A lot sooner. Oh, let's see. What if you could check my King Kaplow out, bro? He's a War Jones streamer, and yeah. I really didn't get him. Need for speed. Hell yeah, man! Absolutely. By all means, send me some links, man. I'll check it out. I love watching new stuff. I I love sharing the sharing the love and support. Absolutely. I'll follow. I'll like. I'll share. You know, like I said, it takes time and dedication. And for anybody, you know, to you know put the content out there and stuff like that. Of course, you always get those trolls every once in a while that want to dra drag you down. You know what? They're watching your stream. You know what? Kill them with kindness, right? So, I love streaming this. I have a really good time doing it. Call of Duty's fun to play, but I just I don't have a good experience streaming it. Hopefully, my wife will. I, I really told her she needs to get into it. Where's on? Yeah, I really didn't get into the Need for Speed Heat. In your message. It's in your massage. 
Yeah, Need for Speed Heat, it's pretty good. I, I enjoy Need for Speed Heat. Uh, Forza 4 is also a good one. I enjoy playing that one, but that one's a very unforgiving game, if you know what I mean. You really got to be on your P's and Q's with that one. Need for Speed Heat, you can be a little bit more lenient, you know, it's a little bit more relaxed. I play with stick shift, so I use the the, uh, the clutch and the shifter. Adds that extra little bit of realism to the game, you know. Add a little bit extra difficulty to it. Hopefully we get to this twisty turny road. It was supposed to be a... T oh, what the hell did I do here? Oh, we're getting there. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so after we turn right up here, that's when we get into the chit, ladies and gentlemen. Better put your waders on. It's going to get deep. But yeah, I appreciate it, Drew. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep going, man. You know, just keep putting out the content. You know, it'll only get better and better. It becomes more fluent. Turn right. And uh, just, I'm going to keep updating my equipment as well. There's several things that I still have to uh, upgrade and uh, get. So, what happened here? Did we get stuck on something? Is that bump right there really to be stop at like the perfect point? Yeah, we must have. But yeah, I want to start updating my cameras and stuff like that next so I can get a little bit better quality stream uh, video footage. But for now, it's pretty decent. My next uh, step up is going to be a rather big leap. Camera that I'm looking at is about 600 bucks. That's alright though. How's everybody doing tonight? Looks like we have some more viewers. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the follow button, it'd be much appreciated. Appreciate all the love everybody shows Jay Money. Been doing good. Getting lots of views, lots of likes, follows. Just chilling, hanging out, having a good old time. You know, I can't say in real life if it would actually help, but um, I've, I've learned a lot by this game. Um, as far as, I used to drive for Harley Davidson. It wasn't a semi-truck, but it was just like a normal, you know, F-350, uh, two-place trailer, you know, two, three, four bikes in the back, something like that. Not big equipment like this. And every time that I heard of like 13 or 18 gears or anything like that, it just blew my mind and my mind like shut down. I'm like, hell no. I could imagine. I don't even know how the hell that works. Well, now understanding about like the different level, you know, the different shift now, there could be two shifters or different buttons and stuff like that. I kind of understand the concept that there's different sets of gears depending on the transmissions. Now, to relate that towards actual realistic driving, you know, I've never done it. I give it to all the truck drivers out there, man. Hats off to you, because that's a hell of a job that I could not do. Yeah, I did two streams with just the game, and I have four or five followers. Yeah, you know, like, it, it takes a while. Like, I literally, I streamed Call of Duty for a minute. Get quite ready. a few streams. And I didn't get zero. Nothing. No views, no follows, no nothing. I jump over to American Truck Simulator and SnowRunner and stuff like that. I've been getting so much love, it's crazy. But I think it's just all in, you know, all in the game, too. You're going to try to stream Warzone, okay? How many millions of people are viewing it? How many thousands of people are streaming it? So if you don't have the followers or the community or, you know, a base to start off with, or even just a little bit, you're going to be all the way at the bottom of the list, you know? It's going to be really hard for you to really get those views, and I think that's what I was really struggling with at first. I kept trying, I kept trying, and like I said, the game was just getting me so frustrated. I was trying to adjust my audio and my overlays and stuff, and just trying to step it up a notch, but I just was not getting the views. So I'm very happy that, like I said, I went to a lot less stressful route. I enjoy this game a tremendous amount. They did a really good job with it. There's so many mods out there and everything's always, you know, getting stepped up a notch and more stuff's coming out, so it really keeps it fresh. Last stream, 32 views. Yeah, you know, see, Mick, that's, uh, it's, I can't even say how many the last stream was. I can't remember off the top of my head. My highest was 1,062, I think. 
and I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. I had to like refresh my my thing. I couldn't believe it. And again, like I said, much appreciate all the love and support you guys. I haven't. I'm finally getting to enjoy doing this. That's the thing. I wasn't enjoying it at first, you know. So it's like, why do it? Well, I had to iron out a couple things, and like I said, switched up the game and. Ta da! Yeah, I've seen a couple of your streams, Mick. I think I've seen two of them so far. I think you just started your uh, your stream, right? You just started it over. You said you deleted like 200 videos. Yeah, it takes time. That's why I was gonna add another day or two to my schedule. I was thinking about adding some morning streams. I do all at night streams. I was going to do like a weekend morning stream, Saturday or Sunday, but when I commit to it, I want to be able to commit 100%. I don't want to go back on it. So I'll hold off and see what works for my schedule, and then I'll post it. Look at this. We got a little bit of washout right here. Yes. And you're playing vanilla, too, so I respect that, too, Mick. That takes a lot of a lot of hauls. And especially, you got to do those long distance hauls to be able to get any money at first, you know? It takes time. So I respect the grind, buddy. Here we go. Now we're getting into some turns. Oh, yeah. Oh, I keep hitting that wrong GM button. I don't want to hit that map button. I want to hit this map button. There we go. First, first time. First stream, guys. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, a little bit more twisty turny. Get to see over the mountainside, you know? It's pretty cool. Ooh, or go over the mountainside, too, depending on what, you know, how Jay drives. <laughs> hey, Bay, appreciate the like. Thank you very much. How you doing today? We're doing good here. Just hanging out, doing a little bit of driving and hauling. We're down in Mexico tonight, y'all. Like I said, doing something a little bit different, a little bit of twisty turnies. Try to keep it interesting. Try to keep the rubber side down tonight. We'll see though, I don't know. Jay starts getting antsy. What's up, Brotato? What's up, brother? We're doing good. We be swerving. Could be good views at 6.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. to 8. Yeah, I've been seeing that, Mick. It looks like uh, on the weekends between, like, yeah, like you said, 6.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. I've been seeing a lot of views, a lot of viewers. That's why I've been kind of considering doing a, a stream on the weekend morning. I see a couple of the streamers, like, uh, I think his name's uh, A-Boy or Pole Boy, P-A-B-O-Y. And uh, he's on on the weekend mornings. A couple other guys. I enjoy watching their streams, you know? It ain't no... I'm not, I'm not in a, no competition with anybody. Shit. People got more viewers than I probably will ever have, you know? Hopefully I get up there one day. But hey, you know what? Like I said, I do this for fun. I'm getting to finally enjoy doing this. Every once in a while, the settings piss me off from having to tweak some stuff. But hey, that's, that's life. <laughs> You will get good views. Look like my part of Canada in the summertime. Nice drive. Hell yeah, appreciate it, bae. Yeah, this is a Mexico uh, map. I do have Canada up here. and Only driven a couple times up here. Actually, none over here. It was mostly over in like Quebec area. But this is down state or down countryside here, down in Mexico. They got some really twisty, turny roads. So this looked really entertaining. It's been going smooth so far. I've had to do a little bit of tweaking here and there because, uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, there we go. My uh, settings were so high as far as my graphics that I was having a little bit of rendering issues when I started getting into some of the really turny parts. And it's doing all right right now. I don't feel like I'm dropping frames like I was before. Yeah, me too, yeah. 
Just gotta keep my eyes on the road. That's all right. If I stay in like 12th, 13th gear, it kind of keeps me down around that speed that we're all right. Start hitting that 14th gear, we're, we're running, we're running problems. But I'm gonna have to check that out, Mick, that dangerous road mo uh, mod. That's what I'm really interested in. I want one of those crazy, like unrealistic, like super awesome mods. I figured it'd be a lot easier to come across, but apparently not. And I don't even care, I'll pay for it. You know, I'll, I, I have no problem with paid mods. I respect it. You know, people need to be paid for their time and effort. You know, I respect that. That's just like Fiverr and stuff like that. When you get graphics and thumbnails and emojis and stuff like that done, you know what? Pay them for their time. Cause I've tried learning all that stuff and that shit's crazy. The younger generation might have a little easier time. I'm not that old, but I'm old enough to where all that new technology shit's a little bit not as easy to grasp. <laughs> And then having to keep up to date with all the updates as well. Make sure that it works. Yeah, I'm gonna load it up after this. Yeah, you streaming the night, Matt? And do you have your schedule posted up? I haven't checked to see if you had your uh, schedule posted up for your streams. Get ready to turn left. I know we got a little bit of a time difference between us, only like 14 hours. <laughs> oh, let's drop a gear. Maybe five. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, we gotta take a second. Look at that. That mountain view right there. Damn, that looks tight. Other than the trailer looks like crap, I do apologize about that. But hey, we'll, we'll, we'll come up here. Hey, look at that. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> anyway. That's another part that I love about this game, the scenery. I enjoy it. Need to get one of them boys, get one of those bus mods, and drive one of those buses. Have you been to the southern Mexico map yet? I have not been uh, all the way down south yet. So as far as what I've been down to, it looks like my mod stops here. So why it doesn't continue down, I don't know. Maybe it's not layered properly. I can check into that and get back with y'all. Yes, no, not yet at the moment. Just 6.30 to 9. Gotcha. I'm around, man. I'll tune in. Absolutely, man. But yeah, this is as far as I've gotten. It's down here. I, I traveled down here, tested it out, and I went back up here. It seems like my job's up at like that corral or wherever up here by Jimenez. It seems like I get quite a few jobs, and it's been pretty smooth if I leave from here. If I leave from this place or down here... I don't get jobs like I don't know what's up so anyway because it's not Mexico oh it's not Mexico what the hell is that South America let's see oh that's Mexico ain't it is that Mexico shit I don't know I'm not geographically smart <laughs> It doesn't look like it. I don't know. I've never been there. I stay. I stay in the U.S. I've been to Canada a couple times. Guatemala, Nicaragua. Gotcha. Etc. I see. I see. I thought it would look a lot different. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how realistic some of these mods are. Some of the U.S. ones, like the West Coast, seem like they're pretty accurate. Like, I've driven out to, like, Las Vegas and California and stuff, and some of those stretches and coming up to, like, the uh, Hoover Dam and stuff, it looks legit. 
I haven't dabbled around with this mod too much. I've kind of went down here for a couple days and some serious bridge roads over at the ports. Gotcha. There's a couple ports that you can take to go across a portion of this map down here. I haven't done it yet. But it's got like a little dotted line that goes across the water, so. I seen that being bad. I seen that happening. I would have rather just stopped. Oh, come on. Are we not going to be able to get up this hill now? Oh, no. Okay. Uh oh, we're in deep trouble here. Okay, trying to read and trying to do two things at once here is not working out. Let's see here. Extreme mountains and roads. Yeah, no kidding. Alright. If we can't make it up... There we go. That was weird. Oh, maybe I was... Maybe I was stuck on a Prius. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I, I didn't see you over there. God damn. <laughs> that's the roads you want to run yeah absolutely like I want some crazy shit Scott like I want a crazy ass you know road maps and stuff the question have you ever like ever get bored playing games streaming hour and hour continually have you ever pushed yourself to play a game you didn't want to I mean for sake of yours no nope I enjoy what I do I enjoy what I play like I said I enjoy playing Warzone but I don't enjoy streaming it so I'm gonna stop streaming it I might dabble in it here or there just because like I'll play with my wife or something and I'll go and stream it but uh, I just I don't enjoy it I don't get to have fun with it so no I don't I don't believe in that if you're not having fun for the sake of the you know just the viewer numbers and the count and stuff I think you're doing it for the wrong reason I get real when he gets stuff like that like I said, I respect the grind. I respect the people, you know. It takes a lot of money and effort to do, you know, streams and, you know, put out good quality. You don't have to have all the bells and whistles and all the equipment. It just adds to it. Extreme mountains and roads. Absolutely. I want the most extreme shit. I want to do backflips and jumps and shit. There's a couple guys. There's one guy, Back to Basics Gaming, I believe. And he's got a hell of a road map. I don't necessarily want his, but, you know, something like that, you know, something that's crazy that, uh, this is super, super nuts. I think I'd enjoy it. Be entertaining to watch, you know, something cool. It's a little bit dry at times when you're driving, uh, you know, cross country and it's just all straight roads. So that's why I was trying to do like these more twisty, turny roads. This map looked all right. You get stressed from streaming. If it does, what do you do to comfort yourself? Do I ever get stressed from streaming? Absolutely. And what do I do? Talk to chat or try to get back into thinking about the game, thinking about what I'm doing, you know? I haven't had too many problems with this game. Now that I, I think it comes with time as well. At first, like when I was really fresh to streaming, I was a, a wreck. I was looking for those, those viewers and that number and I was just constantly on the back of my mind. So I think you just kind of got to forget about it, you know, just play. Depending on your setup, if you have two screens, you can kind of read the chat. Or if you got to use a phone or a tablet, you know, whatever your setup is. I enjoy talking to people. I've always been a social person and uh, done customer service in life. So I've always been around people and customers. I like helping people out. So I like answering people's questions if they have any as well. More mountainous and green than the northern Mexico. I gotcha. So maybe I might have to uh, get more south. Maybe it might be more interesting. Looks like it's kind of a hit and miss for some of the roads. More turny than others. I give this cattle trucks for 16 years. That's why I like this game. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Drive cattle trucks. And you're in Australia too, so you were driving those big ones, right? You're talking like four or six trailers, Mick. Does stress affect stream performance? Absolutely. Absolutely. I 100% agree that. 
If you're stressed out, I think your viewers feel that. I'm not I'm not as good, you know, being able to hide and facial expressions sometimes. I try to, but like I feel like when you're more comfortable and more at ease, I think it just comes smoother. Like when you go and mess up or you do something stupid, you know, I'll get a little bit frustrated. My face even might get a little bit red at times that I don't know. Yeah, I think stress will hurt the performance just like everything. Stress will hurt your work, the way you operate and think. That's why I'm glad I found this game. You know, I found a good community that uh, that streams it, um, people that watch it, you know, just wanting to kick back, relax, and have a good time. Absolutely, Scott. Absolutely. No, just three trailers. Oh yeah, it's still three trailers, Mick. That's a hell of a lot. And especially you're driving uh, cattle, so you're driving livestock, so you're responsible for all those animals, so you really got to be on top of your game. It's not just like it's a piece of box and, you know, equipment. But yeah, you know, I do the same thing, Scott. I watch streams, you know, to be able to chat with people, just get into, you know, other people's communities and just have a good time. That's what's amazing nowadays is thanks for being honest. You're a king, dude. I like you. Hey, you know what? I appreciate it. You know, I'm I'm 100% real, you know. I have nothing to hide or, you know, I have nothing to, you know, lie about. You know, I, I appreciate being able to have the opportunity to watch other content creators. You know, what a time we live in to be able to get on your phone or your tablet or internet or be able to come together with people, play games, have fun. It's cool. I love it. Games have been a huge stress reliever for me. I've learned a lot from streamers. Hey, appreciate the follow and the like as well. Gabba Divin? Gabba Divin. I can't remember. I can't see if I said that right. I apologize if I butchered that. I appreciate the like and the follow. Absolutely learned a lot from streamers you know i've learned so much scott it's it's crazy from streamers you know i don't try to steal uh content or steal stuff yeah, from other streamers you know i believe like I, I believe and you need to make it your own and people will catch the bs if you know what i'm saying so you know i i like to see what people do to kind of switch it up and get ideas but you know it's so awesome there's so many trucks maps you know different setups cargos trailers it's, and this is just the game, you know, there's plenty of games out there to stream and have fun with. Yeah, three day trip, every eight hours unload the, for a rest. I didn't think about that either. You have to unload the cattle. Oh man, unload and load them things back up. Oh, that would suck. There we go, we'll get, we'll get going here. I was in the wrong gear, but we'll get up there. Oh, man, Mick, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I guess three trailers is enough, right? <laughs> I'm good. I don't want six trailers if you're going to have to unhaul them or unload them every eight hours. Oh. My hat's off to you, brother. But no, I wish I would have done streaming a long time ago, you know? I wish I would have stuck with it. Now I'm getting into it, now that I got my schedule and stuff, it's really kept me going and, uh, you know, gives me that drive. I've tried getting the military cargo mod to work for weeks and can't even get it to appear in my mod manager. You know, uh, we, me and Mick were just talking, um, he's going to be doing some videos as well about how to layer uh, mods properly. Because I've also been running into issues with that and I'm still learning myself, like I got about 200 hours maybe a little bit more than that now maybe 250 and i'm still got so much to learn about like the whole mods layering the mods properly making sure that they're compatible and uh it's a process so like if you're having issues with the cargo mod um you might not have it layered properly that's if it is compatible with the 1.4 version of the game right now if it's not compatible with the, ger the version of the game i think you're just kind of SOL at that point until they they update it, whoever made it. 
and then you might have to re-download it. But if you're, you know, is that just a, a Steam Workshop mod? Or is that like a mod that you found on the internet that you're trying to insert? Because you gotta make sure that you put it in the right file. If you go to like the File Explorer and you go to the American Truck Simulator and you go to the Documents folder and go to Mod. Dazzy Cat? Gotcha, okay. So as if the mod is compatible with the 1.4, then it might not be layered properly or it might not be in the folder properly. Or make sure this too. Make sure that you have an SCS file. Make sure that it's not like a RAR file, like a RAR file or something. You don't need to like unzip it or extract it. Because I have ran into that a couple times where I go to download the file and it's a RAR file. And I actually have to extract it to an SCS file and then put it in the mod file. Just FYI, that might be your issue. Those mods get a little bit tricky. That's why I, re I really gotta like set myself back when I start messing with them and not get so cocky and just start throwing them in because, man... I got very lucky that mine are working and meshing together really well, but I still got a lot to do with organizing them and get them set up properly. It's kind of a mess to tell you the truth. A little bit embarrassing. I've seen it playing better many times. And you know, see, that's the other thing too. When you've seen it played many a times, like, was it a previous version of the mod or the game that you've seen? Is it like an older video that maybe worked at that version of the game, but they haven't updated the mod for the current one? Because I think I've run into that a couple times. There you go, Scott. If you go on Google and you start looking up uh, like file converters, sometimes I've come across like a, a RAR to SCS file converter that I don't necessarily have to download a program to be able to use it. You can actually do it like online. I don't know, you can attach the file through like a web browser and uh, do it that way. Send me the link. Nice. Which link, Mick? Woo! Coming in hot there. Was not paying attention on that one. But yeah, hopefully that'll fix your issue there, Scott. Like I said, I know that I ran into it a couple times with a RAR file. No, what am I doing here, ladies and gentlemen? It's all nighttime and shit. Three, two, one. Close your eyes. It's gonna get bright. Shit, pow. Ta-da! You can call me Houdini. I made the darkness disappear. Better slow it down here a notch. Feel like I'm getting a little overzealous here. Oh, 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 oh. two, four. We're five wheeling. You know what? We're gonna kick her down the tenth. I keep trying to pay attention to too many things. I need to slow it down here a notch, chat. We got places to be, but let's keep the rubber side down. Whoa, mama. I'm digging the scenery, though. It's pretty nice. For the military cargo mod, and I'll check to see how to load it. All right. Heck yeah, man. I'll send you a link to it. There's a couple that I'm working with, so I have to see. Like I said, I got, a, I got so many things compiled together. It's incredible. I almost need to start over and just start piecing it together so I can actually layer it properly. You might be able to copy like the URL of the website that you got it from. You might be able to see it that way.
Because there's like several, I think there's like five or six websites that I know of. They're all almost named the same thing, like modsats.net, atsmods.com. Or... It seems like they all have about the same mods. Oh no, don't do that. Oh, you got a mess. There we go. While we are talking mods. Absolutely. What are we talking, mods? I love mods. They can be stressful, but they can also be awesome. Yeah, Mix, the one that showed me the video, he uh, sent me a link to the video on how to actually layer him. I would have had no idea. I would have just assumed you threw him in a the mod manager and you threw them in there they're there uh-uh especially when you start getting to like all the sounds and the cargoes and the trucks and stuff gotta make sure that they all are layered right i had a workshop light package installed did not like it removed it from the mod manager and unsubscribed and it is still in the game Hmm. If you load back into the game, it should come up with like a little thing saying that there's some mods that have been removed. Would you like to proceed? And then you can keep going with it and it should take it out. Hey, Jessica, appreciate the like. Hey, it's about time you stopped into the chat. What are you up to? I've unsubscribed from several different mods. That's kind of why, like I was saying, uh, I have a separate profile. I'm going to start piecing it together and doing it properly because I have some mods that I don't use on my main game and I need to unsubscribe them or I need to get into the mod file and actually remove them so that I don't add stuff in there that's not compatible because I think I have a couple that don't jive. Makes me load a save game, but when you load the save game... It should have the mod removed so like if it's a truck mod or something that you had and you have it in your garage i believe the truck's gone i believe i'm not 100 though maybe somebody can confirm that i'm pretty sure that when you load the saved file it's like because you have like several quick saves or something like that I believe that if that mod is removed, it will start the game without that mod. Because I've taken map mods away. How did I? How do I get it off my PC? If it is not a Steam Workshop mod that you can just unsubscribe to, and it's like a mod that you added outside of Steam Workshop, you have to go in through like your file explorer and go to. Oh, let's see if I remember this off the top of my head. File Explorer. And then I believe you have to Get go ready. to you Users. Go to your user. It's a workshop. Okay, it's a workshop. You should be able to unsubscribe it. Go to, like, your Time mod manager. Up. And... Toll pay to $25. Get the hell out of here. Go to your mod manager and unsubscribe it. Click the I button like the information button on the top left of the mod in the mod manager and it should pull up a thing and you should be able to click unsubscribe but if it was out of workshop you have to go into the mod file and i think actually physically remove it and delete it looks like we got a couple more viewers and appreciate everybody stopping by if you can hit the like button hit the follow button be much appreciated helps out the stream a tremendous amount just having a good old time doing a little bit of hauling tonight messing around with this mexico mod that i've kind of been doing a little bit of tweaking with seems to be working all right i'm pretty happy with it tonight so rock on other than the trailer looks like complete garbage but hey that was because i wanted to go down this road and this is what it gave me the poopy trailer yeah done all that and it's still there that's crazy i would say I don't I don't have it. Oh, you know what? We'll still be on your PC. Go to YouTube. There's a video. Yeah, I think Mick's right. Yep. Yep, Mick is right. I think there's actually a separate file for the Steam Workshop mods compared to like the other mod file. 
and I think that's what Mick's going with. Look up the YouTube video and it'll show you how to get there to be able to remove it. Because I think that is one of my issues as well. I think I have a couple mods that are in there that I've unsubscribed to that are still in my manager. So that's why I was getting back to that. I don't want to remove all the mods and then start adding them together because I'm not sure what's on there. Really want to pay attention so I don't get everything all screwed up. Because it does not take a lot to screw it up. One mod and it's crashing the game. Yes, it's in the game files. Yeah, exactly. I guess I better pay attention. No, don't do that. I hate it when it does that, chat. I want to scroll my view in and it scrolls my freaking chat. Thank you. Better stop messing with me, computer. I'm in no mood. No mood for your games. Let's get it going here a little bit. Come on, baby. Whoa, mama. Looks like we're about to get in a little bit of chit here. Hell yeah, man. Mixing what I was looking at. Yeah, you took the words out of my mouth, brother. Looks like I'm about to get in some chit here. That's all right, though. Keep it on the road, though. Oh, I should have taken that one a lot shorter. Back and forth, back and forth. There we go. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. All right, hold on a second here. Dirt road, eh? It's true. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Maybe that helped a little bit. Sure. We'll go with that. Yeah, you know, this is the kind of roads I'm looking for. Those effed up roads. That's why, like, uh, every every uh, photo that I see of the, uh, the Australian uh, map, mad. Ooh, I took that one a little bit fast. Um, they all look like they're like dirt roads and they look pretty cool. So like, I don't know if that would be like a really good uh, map mod, you know, for twisty turny roads or not. I haven't actually seen anybody play it, so. Hey, Mike, appreciate the stars, brother. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for the 500 stars. Oh man, making it rain on J Money. Stop in and check out the content. I'm glad I did. Absolutely, Mike. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate the follow as well. Thank you very much. Outstanding. Well, we surpassed our star goal. My first 500 stars right there, baby. Thank you very much, Mike. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Doing a little bit of relaxing and driving. My driving could be a little bit better, but hey... That's all right. That's all right. Engine brake. Yeah, right? Engine brake. Cool. Nice. Mick. Yes, Mick does stream. To check him out, man. He does some cool stuff as well. Aquaponics and stuff. Check it out. I enjoy. I enjoy learning and I enjoy especially learning about new stuff that I've never heard of before or... You know, helping out the environment. I'm all for that as well. But absolutely, Mike. I will stop Get by and check out the content. Turn left. Oh, no, I see it. He stopped him to check out my content. Ah, oh, there we go. 
I'll get it right. I'm only my first coffee down. I did go down the right road, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. It got a little bit sketched right there for a second. Come on, baby. Whoa, baby. Whoa, mama. Calm down, Jay. Calm down. Let's see here. Yeah, buddy. McDown and good old Australia. Let's see here. 57 miles. Nice, 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 nice. Where did the road go? Holy cheese nuggets. Okay. They're taking us in the hoopties, man. Out in the boondocks. There's a the road. Oh, no, the road went away again. Okay. This is crazy. What mod pack? Uh, this is... Uh, I will uh, attach some links on my page after the uh, stream here. This is uh, a Mexico map that I picked up on a website. I cannot remember the exact one, because there's a couple. The Chihuahua, Chihuahua map? I haven't got to play it too much, you know? I've been messing with it a little bit, doing a little bit of tweaking here and there to kind of get the rendering down so it runs a little bit smoother for me. I need to stop the engine. Oh, that must have been like a rest area or something. But I'm not exactly sure what mod pack this is. I'm just kind of, right now, Mike, I'm testing out some things. I want to find, like, a really crazy... I figured I could have drove over that. I guess that was stupid of me to think. This isn't SnowRunner, right? Low bumpers in the front. What? Oh, my goodness gracious. But, yeah, I've been dabbling around with a couple different map mods because I really want to find, like, a crazy map mod. Something that's, like, wicked. So, this one looked alright, you know, this one's still kind of on the realistic side. I don't mind getting into those unrealistic ones that are like super insane and crazy. I kind of think that that would be pretty entertaining to watch. I watch a lot of streamers that have them and I, for some reason, cannot come across those map mods. I can't find them. But I tell you what, whatever the hell this map mod is, they got me doing some crazy, crazy shit here. Driving across rivers, and I, I have no idea. It might not be layered properly, this map. I think that this map mod only has, like, one file. I don't think that I had multiple files for this. I don't know, Chad. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of investigating. It's got me all effed up now. I can't remember. This is pretty en entertaining, though, right? Kick the differential in. Holy shit. Don't hit the cactus. Goddamn. Dodging them. Just keep it masked. Just keep the gas a going. I ain't letting off this thing, dude. Nope. Uh uh. Nope. Pin it to win it, Ricky. Pin it to win it. If you're not first, you're last. This shit's crazy, dude. This must be a layering problem or something. I don't know. Unless this is how it should be. We'll see. Tomorrow I won't be streaming, so uh, hopefully I'll get a little bit of time and uh, I can actually test out a little bit with the mods. I do have a couple trailer mods that I purchased, paid mods, and I didn't get to add them tonight. So hopefully next stream I'll have those on and working. It's gonna be like a quad livestock trailer, and then there's another one that's like a super overloaded, heavy cargo, super insanely long. It's got several jobs that come with it, and it's like some really cool shit, so like I'm pretty in I was pretty impressed with it, and I'm pretty happy about it. Can you bring up your big map for a sec? Absolutely. So this is what I have. 
So as you can see, like all through here is like pretty twisty, turny roads. This is kind of what intrigued me about it. And this is why I'm testing it out. Seems like it's pretty entertaining. I haven't gotten down here, as you can see by the yellow roads. So I don't know how it is down here. Somebody said earlier that the lower you go, the better it looks. But I also don't have nothing down here. So I don't know if it's the mod or what. Like I said, I don't think that there was multiple files on this. I believe there was only one. So I don't think that that's an issue. Now I know that there's several mod maps out there, so there might be a different Mexico one. More fuller, maybe different. We're still checking it out, chat, you know? Work in progress. But I also have the US as well, so I can do coast to coast, all the way down to Florida. I've been up and have a garage up in Detroit, and you can also buy garages across here as well. And then I've been up to Quebec, and I do have Canada. Canada's a little bit bare. There's not a lot up here, so I don't know, again, if there's another Canada mod that might be a little bit fuller, but. I just looked next year. I have been gaming for 40. Oh, I guess I should have not exited at that time when I was looking off. I have been gaming for 40 years. I started at 10 years old. I don't think I have form a Mexico map. Mick, that's a long time, brother. That's a long time of gaming. 40 years of enjoyment. And 40 years of frustration. And 40 years of getting pissed off at a game. And then 40 years of great accomplishments as well. Aren't games amazing? <laughs> See, I have a Reforma uh, mod. Let's see here. I don't think... Let's see here. Reforma Mexico map. So, watch this. This will just take a second. Here you go. Real quick, I got time. So as you can see over here, I have Reforma 2.1.4, Coast to Coast, the compatibility patch for the Reforma Coast to Coast, Canada Dream 2.4, Reforma Pro Mods Background Fix. When I looked it up online and it specifically had these exact ones, this is how I seem to layer it. I don't know if that's 100% correct because I haven't, like I said, done really a lot of tweaking, but that's what I'm running as far as right there. If you want to take a quick look at that, that's the map on top of, like I said, a bunch of other shit, but all those are just trucks, trailers, sound mods, shit like that. It's a work in progress. Learning as I go. I didn't realize that prioritizing and layering them like that really mattered. Makes sense, but I just have the Reforma. I had, I just started off with the Coast to Coast one. I didn't have the Reforma. And then I just kept adding them together. And I came across it online uh, on a forum. I don't know exactly where, but they were kind of discussing about how to I layer see. them. And I came across that and that's how they had it layered. So far, it's been working for me. I got rid of Coast to Coast. Yeah, you know, I, I might end up scratching all of these uh, and scrapping them all together. I have the Montana expansion. I do know that some of them you have to have all the expansions. So if you don't have the expansions, some of the map mods will not work for you or might not mesh together. I think most of them say it in the description if they uh, need all of the expansions or not. I do have all of them. Um, I might get rid of the coast to coast. You know, I don't have a problem with that. Like I said, if I come across like one of those dangerous death road maps, like super awesomely insane ones, everything else is going in the garbage can because I want that entertainment. You know, I want that super awesome map. So I'm still on the prowl. If anybody comes across one, man, shoot it my way. Let me know. I have no problem with the paid mod as well. I'd, I'd pay it for it. I'd pay good money for it. But it has to be updated and it has to be good. I, mean, I, I want something that works and they stay up to date on it. 
I know there's one paid mod that I have, which is like the Peterbilt 388 Wrecker. Um, the beacon lights for that are a different mod that they use in their mod, and they're not updated with the 1.4. So that's kind of frustrating. You know, you pay $30 for a mod that they used a mod that's not up to date, so it doesn't work. So it is what it is, you know. You, you take some, you win some, you lose some in these mods. I respect the time and effort, though. It still takes a lot of time and effort, and I don't think I could ever do that. I'm not savvy with programming and all that shit. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, you see that? We kicked that, we kicked that differential in there. We got all them tires spinning. <laughs> yeah, baby. Go, 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 go. Ooh, look at that. A little bit of hiccup on that. Look at that map right there. It's a little bit effed up right there on the left. Ah. I have the first 18 wheels of steel. Nice. Hell yeah. I guess we can grab another gear, right? Oh, it's been pretty entertaining so far. I've, I've been digging it. It's been something different. I think there's more that you can add to that reforma map as well. I believe there's several more things that you can add. Another toll, huh? Okay, you're getting your money from me today. That's 50 bucks so far. It better be going towards the roads. Especially Michigan roads, because they suck. I'm doing good to get mods to work, let alone dig into them. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. So, like, just, you know, beware. Just beware with them, because it can really cause you a lot of headache. So, like, I would literally just take your time and, like, maybe even just one a day maybe a couple a day you know if you have time to be able to test them out uh mick also had a good point of i didn't think about this having several profiles i only had one profile so like if i would messed something up i'd get a little bit stressed out because i'd have to go through and fix it because that was my main profile well if you go through and you start adding one by one on a separate profile to like where you can really pinpoint stuff if you have an issue i think it, it works out a little bit better a little bit smoother but no, I understand, Scott. It can be a pain in the ass. Yeah, yep, yep, exactly. I think you need all the DLCs for the uh, Coast to Coast. So if you don't have all the DLCs, I believe it won't jive. Some of the other ones, like the... There might be like a Reforma one or something that might work, but I believe it's in the description. They usually say it in the description if you need the DLCs or not. Yes, exactly, Mick. You're the one that showed me that, brother. I appreciate that. Have a test profile. Should put that in capital letters. Get ready to turn left. Because especially, like I said, I had like 86 mods turn together, left. so I got very lucky that everything's working as well as it is. I'm sure that I don't even know that there's a couple things that aren't, you know, as they should because, again, I still need to go through and tweak them. It's all good though, I don't care. I like adding more trucks than anything. I like the different trucks and the different cargoes and trailers. I'll have 300 mods, I don't care. Please make a U-turn when possible. What? Hell no, I thought, ooh, ooh. Calm down, Jay. Woo, shit. Easy. Oh, we needed to come in here. Oh shit, wrong entrance. Durr. Dee dee dee. It's all over now. It is, isn't it? I'll back this pig in. Hell yeah, I don't care. Yeah, oops, right? Absolutely. That's alright, where do we need to go now? Let's do a. Let's 
Let's hang a Louie here. Hang a Yui, I should say, not a Louie. We're going right. Nom nom, not left. Woo! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh! Damn! We're 10 wheeling. All right, how many wheels is that? Two, four, six, eight, nine wheeling. We're, we're nine wheeling. <laughs> oh, they want me to thread it in it. Oh, you bastards. I see that little white blinking space over there. I got this. I got this. This is going to be probably the last haul anyway. It's getting about getting about time. I got work tomorrow. Wish I could stream longer throughout the week, but maybe eventually here. Like I said, I got some adjustments I need to make to my stream schedule. Hold on a second, though. There we go. Oh, don't do that. Either. There we go. Oh, what I'm doing at the moment is doing a no copyright playlist of music. Uh, yes, that is a pain in the arse right there, brother. I got lucky and I have a Spotify account. I love my Spotify. I use it during work. And I came across a very famous streamer and YouTube video and Twitch, you, uh, Twitch video maker, Harris Heller. I have all of the links and everything attached in the description and comments in my videos. And I give him mad, mad, mad props, man. Because that dude came up with, like, I think at least, like, six playlists that I use that are all copyright-free music. And they're free to use as long as I have a Spotify account. Hey, E.T., appreciate the like and the share. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you for the support and the love. Much appreciated. But if you look in my description, hello from Brazil. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello from Michigan and the U.S. How are you doing today? But if you look in the description and the uh, comments on my Facebook or YouTube, um, I have the links for all the stream beats, as it's called. There's a hip hop one. There's a rock one. There's an EDM. Uh, uh, let's see here. Bass one. There's a lo-fi, hi-fi ambient house there's several i dig them they're really good and uh make sure that you get the ones if you go to his youtube or if you go to the videos or the the links that i have them are the ones that are by him make sure they're his there's one that i found that had his name on it but it was not made by him it was made by another gentleman and that person added songs that were copyrighted and I kept getting dinged by Facebook saying that they were copyrighted in like Cuba and uh, Korea and stuff like that. So once I went back through, I got over 500 songs that people sing. Yeah, hell yeah, Mick. Absolutely. See, I don't have a lot of uh, songs with like people uh, singing and stuff like that. I got a couple, but for the most part, you know, I play this, give it some ambient noise. It's been working out all right. I know that it's a pain in the butt to find good music, though. Copyright free. You ever use your truck radio? ET is extraterrestrial, alien, and Portuguese. City. Venus Jiris State. Hell yeah. Extraterrestrial, yeah, I remember that movie. That's a good movie. I haven't watched it in a long time. Good old ET phone home. Do you ever use your truck radio? Um, you know what? Not too much. Um, I've listened to it a couple times. I did come across on a forum for Steam uh, community, Steam uh, like workshop, uh, about actual real radio stations. And I came across 101 The Riff, which is actually a Detroit-based radio station that I listen to every day here. And I noticed that you can go through your radio stations, and if you know how to do it, you can add radio stations in and I actually added in right there 101 the riff in Detroit also I got plenty of other uh, radio stations around me locally so I thought that was a really cool touch and it actually works it is legitimately 101 the riff because I actually got the link that somebody sent me I input it in and it's their live stream of their radio station 
So look up a video on that, Scott, if you don't know how to do that, because I don't know how to do it right off the top of my head. I'm sure that if I looked it up, I could describe it to you better. Yeah, I have 4,000 plus songs loaded and have radio stations as well. Awesome. Yeah. See, I need to start listening to the radio a little bit more. That'd be cool. But uh, all right, y'all, this is going to be my last uh, my last one for the night. Wish I could stream a little bit more. I'm really feeling it tonight. Thank you for all the love and support, all the likes and follows. It's much appreciated. Uh, it keeps me going, man. It gives me that ambition to just strive for more. So I really appreciate it. Uh, just unfortunately, throughout the week, I do have to work early in the morning. So I do got to cut it short. On the weekends, I can stream a little bit longer. So uh, check out my stream schedule. Uh, come back, see us again. Hope you enjoy the content. Hey, Trey, appreciate the like. Thank you very much. I mean, much appreciated. I'm getting so much love and support on Facebook lately. It's been crazy. Have a good one, bro. Hey, appreciate it, Scott. Thank you very much. Your 1996 up here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, Mick. Appreciate it. Talk to you. Take care, man. <laughs> there you go. Hey, appreciate it, ET. Thanks for stopping in. Hope everything's doing good and hope you're having a good day. And uh, stay tuned next time. Come visit us again. Come chat. This is Jay Money. As always, stay tuned. Happy gaming. We'll see you next time.